Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see procurement to pay cycle in pharma industry, P2P cycle in pharma industry. Okay. So I have uh, three materials I'm going to purchase it from outside, from outside the industry. Okay. Sodium chloride, toxin and nitrate. And the process I'm going to do is create purchase requisition, create request for quotation, RFQ, maintain quotation in ME47, Transaction code, compare quotation in transaction code ME49, transaction code. Finally, I'm going to create a purchase order in ME21 in transaction code. So do goods received in MIGO, MIGO transaction code. Finally, I'm going to check the inventory in MMBE, whether the material has been inverted. Finally, I'm going to do invoice in, invoice verification in transaction code MIR. Already, I have created three materials. Three materials. If you want to know how to create a material, if you want to know how to create the material, a link has been provided in the description. Check that. And vendor also, I have two vendors I have created already. These two vendors, criminal justice and Astro, Astro Chemicals. Link has been provided in the description. Check the description. Okay. Now let me go to purchase requisition. I want to create purchase requisition. ME 51 here. Let me enter the material. First material. This is my material. 60610. 60610. Present. Quantity 10. Plant is LD03. Square foot. Purchase organized by purchasing group selected in the 00. Press enter. Now, next material. I'm going to buy, and moreover, I'm going to buy it in kgs. Kg. 606060. It's my material. 15 kgs. Plant LD03. 001. It's my purchasing group. Next, 60612. 25 kits. LD0. 001 is that purchasing group. Now, sales. Yeah, I have created purchase reposition. Four triple zero triple zero four one eight. Sorry, but this is now I'm going to do request for quotation. I'm going to do request quotation from the vendor that is RFQ. It's slash and ME forty. Request for quotation. Requesting quotation could be through email or it could be through uh, fax, anything like that. Okay. Quotation deadline date tenth of this. Zero zero one is my purchasing. I have to slash in ME41. Quotation deadline date. I have to reference to purchase requisition. This is my purchase requisition, which I have created it now. This is the purchase requisition. Now, we have got to cut it. Let me enter storage location. LD03 here. LD03. LD03. Select. Adapt, adapt plus details. You want to adapt plus details. Now we enter delivery date. Before 15. Before 15 needs to be delivered. Press enter. 15. 100. Okay. Now, click on to this supplier address. Select all the three and supplier address. Click on to supplier address. First one is Piramal Industries. Then Piramal Industries. Press enter and save it. Press enter. 
Yes. Double one. Double one. Double one zero seven. Let me enter the astro chemicals. Save it. Click onto this. Save button. Press end to save. It. Yes. Double one. Zero seven six. Now let's go to slash in. Let, let me come out. I'm going to maintain the quotation. ME 47 to maintain the quotation. First quotation. This one. Okay. Press enter. I'm going to enter the price. 1500 per kg. 1650 per kg. 1700 per kg. Save it. Save it. Save it. Present to save now seven five seven. Okay, here it is thousand five hundred per kg, thousand six fifty per kg, thousand seven fifty per kg. Seven five zero seven. Present now. I'm going to do. Quotation comparison, ME 49, compare quotation. Let me enter the quotation here. One quotation and another one is six quotation, six. Execute, execute. See here, test card. So which one would you buy? This one. Now let me delete everything. I'm going to block this thermal industries and, and I'm going to give orders to Astro Chemicals. Let me double click onto this. Go to edit, block. Yes. Press enter. Save it. Press enter. Next, I'm going to double click onto this. Go to select. Block. Yes. Press enter. And save. Press enter. Now, double link onto this again. Go to edit. Block. Yes. Press enter and save. Press enter to continue. Now, when you refresh this, all the three would have been gone. Refresh this. Gone. Now I'm going to give order to this or Astro Chemicals. Go to come back. ME 21 year. Order confirmation. What's this order confirmation? ME 21. Select selection variant. Request for quotation. Delete everything. You delete all this. Delete this. Delete this also. Delete this. Execute. Execute. Now scroll down. These three, I have one double nine double one zero seven six. I did blocking. Let me check this. I have. I have. This side in block. This side in block. Go to new. Click on to new. No, but this one I have blocked. Double one seven five I have blocked. Adapt. See, I have blocked. Select adapt. I have blocked this also. This line item also, and this line and light line item also I have blocked. Okay. Now, 
the control create no select this is the one i didn't i'm going to give astro chemicals i'm going to give the order order confirmation i'm going to give it to the astro chemicals select select and save it save it yes this is my pivo let me take this pivo control y you get this plus icon you can select it it gets copied Now let's go to GR slash and MIG. Goods are some purchase order, enter the purchase order number. Press enter. Click onto this non order item. Item OK, item OK, and post. And post. Before that, let me open the inventory and check the inventory. Before doing GR, MMB. Double six zero six zero six one two six zero six one one thirty is there thirty is there twenty five is there in the unrestricted one zero twenty okay. now let's go to poster and let's check the inventory. I just posted it. Now, just refresh this. 30 would have been. Now, 11. New selection. 40. 12. New selection. 55. That's fine. Now, let me do invoice certification. MIR. Transaction code MIR. GB10 is my company code. Enter invoice date. Calculate tax. Enter purchase order number here. This amount 98,700. 98,700. Base rent date upon which we have to pay the vendor. Save. Slash and to come. This is how we do pocket to pay cycle in for the farm miners. Thank you.